Alright guys, welcome back into another video. We're going to continue the Lodi building series today, specifically looking at the stat track side of things. We kicked it off with a $10 stat track loadout. Today, we're going to increase it to a $25 loadout. And before we get into it, I need to tell you about today's giveaway. It's not going to be for a Spectre though, don't worry. It's actually going to be for a Phantom Disruptor. Which is right here. It is a minimum wear phantom disruptor. To enter the giveaway for this, all you have to do is make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and then leave a comment down below of your favorite skin from today's video. The winner will be picked hopefully on stream in a few days' time. And I always announce all the winners in Discord as well. So make sure you're in there. I'll tag everyone, announce the winners, and make sure you don't miss out on your prizes. And let's get into it. Giveaways like this are possible thanks to today's sponsor, Skinport. With no buyer fees and over 1 million skins available at once, Skinport is the best place to buy and sell your CS2 skins. Whether it's a crazy knife and glove combo or hunting for budget gems, Skinport has everything you need and more. Perfection. For example, right now I can pick up this kill confirmed USP for 22% less or even this Huntsman lore for over £50 cheaper than Steam. You love to see it. If you're selling skins, pirates are going to be sent in your local currency and the fee ranges between 2 to 12%. Skinport offers a fast, smooth, easy and secure experience for buying and selling skins and this is why they have a 4.9 out of 5 rating on Trustpilot. For more details, check the link in the video description and thank you to Skinport for sponsoring today's video. Now, in some good news for me, I finally have my knife and glove combo, but that's not what you guys are here for. So the glove we're going to kick it off with is going to be the Warhawk in minimal wear. I'll say everything here, stat track, this is a minimal wear. For me, this looks super good for a budget Glock. Warhawk's one of my favorite budget Glocks, and the stat track counter is always in a nice spot when it comes to the Glocks as well. I'm going to spend about two and a half dollars for the USP, and we're going to go for a Torque. This is also going to be minimal wear. I'm trying to get minimal wear where possible again stat track counter placement is actually super good so it's not going to clash with anything on the skin and the torque is just kind of like a, a clean simple usp the alternative here would have been going towards something like a ticket to hell desert eagle i think there's a real obvious pick it's going to be the light reel if it would actually do the normal there we go we've got the normal inspect animation for it here i think this is a super good deagle one of my favorite budget deagles in general and it's another one where the placement's good doesn't clash with the skin at all actually works into the skin quite nicely with that sort of like the orange of the stat track counter into the sort of bronzy orange of the effect of the skin I'm pretty sure we had an elite build last time, but I'm going to upgrade it this time towards a minimal wear elite build. I still think the elite builds are kind of like a slapped on AK skin, especially if you're operating on a budget. And then with the addition of the stat track counter, it's going to look clean. You can do a, a, any craft you want on this with the orange stickers, and you're going to have a banging AK and stat track to go basically in your loadout forever. Now, our first of... I've just been absolutely battered by the train. Cool. Our first of two field tested skins is going to be the leather glass. It's almost $10 to this, which I know you might be surprised I'm spending more on the Emperor and S and M, the AK, but I'm really happy with the skin it gets you here. You guys should know I love the leather glass. It's one of the, the first skins I did like a custom craft on. And although the stat track counter for the Emperor and S is in a dreadful spot because it often covers the artwork, with picking the leather glass, it doesn't actually cover the artwork too much. And sticker placement wise, now you can do custom and avoid it. The A4, I'm going cheap and cheerful. We're moving from the Polymag, and we're going to be going for the Magnesium instead. This is Minwar at $1.64. Absolutely beautiful skin. I'm going to run with the exact same op as last time, which is the Phobos. It's just under $3 in minimal wear. As we discussed, the Statue Art Counter actually kind of matches some parts of the skin, which looks kind of cool. And the Phobos is, yeah, it's going to be slept on a little bit as a skin. But last time we only had seven skins, I've actually managed to get six like bonus skins as well this time with the increase to $25. So not just more skins, but also upgrading some of the skins like the m 4 s First of which is going to be the MP9 Modest Threat. This is super cheap men wear. It's like 23 cent. It's like one again. I've picked one that doesn't really clash with the artwork. Uh, obviously the placement's the same in all of them, but it doesn't clash with the artwork, which kind of like the main thing for me here. I've not been hit by the train this time. Wonderful. Uh, and it's super cheap. MAC-10, I'm going for that budget favor that is the ensnared. This for 19 cent for Minwar and Star Trek is kind of crazy for how nice it looks. And it's almost a no-brainer pick, if you ask me. The P250 actually has a banging choice in the cassette. The cassette for me is a bit of an... Oh, it used to be a heavily purchased uh, P250. It's now a little bit slapped on, a little bit underrated. But 17 cent for this Minwar. It's obviously got an orange strip through it, orange Star Trek at the end. It looks clean. The Tech 9 of choice, I've gone for the cheapest stat track option, but it's actually probably the best stat track option out of the, like, the 
three to five cheapest ones. It's going to be the Rebel. It's going to be Minware. It's 26 cent. For the Famas, I've just thrown in a field tested decommissioned here. It's 14 cent in, uh, in field tested. I don't really want to overspend on the Famas here, but it's just getting something. So if you are in those little buy rounds and you don't want an MP9, you can get a Famas and it's going to count towards your stat track. And honestly, kind of the same for the Gale. I've just went for the Destroyer here. I actually think it's a it's a decent budget skin. It's also pretty much the cheapest stand track Gale you could go for in a good condition. So I think it fits in nicely for what we're doing here. And this means the total cost of the stand track loadout is going to cost you $25.82. So we're a little bit over the $25, but within $1, definitely within the 10% buffer that we set. And overall, I think this is looking pretty damn good as a loadout goes. I would say if you're going to spend $25, non stat track might be better because you'll get a better quality of skin finish overall. But if you're super keen for stat track, this is pretty much, I think, is the best of what you should go and pick up. And I'm going to round it off there. So like I said, we are doing a giveaway for uh, today's video. It's going to be the AK-47 Phantom Disruptor in Minware. Requirements to enter are like, subscribe, and then make sure you've left a comment down below of your favorite skin from today's video. A big thank you to Skinport because they're the reason we can do these giveaways on every single video. So make sure you check them out. They'll be linked in the top of the description or the pinned comment. The best place to buy and sell your skins in Counter-Strike, especially now with all the changes that Valve are making. And we're kind of uncertain where it's going, but Skinport have confirmed for me that they are good. They're up and running. You can buy and sell skins there all as well. So guys, I'm going to end it there. I'm going to stop waffling. Thank you very much for all the support recently. Thank you for watching this one. We'll catch you in the next. Goodbye.